Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from San Jose and Strata Hadoop World. I'm here with the Corporate Vice President from Microsoft and... Uh, my name is, <laughs> my name is Thirumanjanam Kannan Rangarajan. How's that? I think I'm going to stick with Ranga. That sounds a very wise move. Okay, yeah. okay. So, what, what trends are you guys seeing at Microsoft that's shaping your data uh, plans and what, what you're doing in the data space? It is quite amazing to see that there's a data culture emerging in enterprises. Uh, people are using data in a very intensive, fundamental way. I think of this as a deep cultivation of data to get business advantage, whether to increase customer intimacy, or increase you know, profitability, create new options for customers. It is, it is a very exciting world, and that's, uh, that's what is motivating me. So we did a book years ago called The DevOps Culture. It sounds like we need a book called The Data Culture. Is da a data culture something you can actually bring to an enterprise or, or help them get going with their own data culture? Yeah, I, I think a data culture is something that the world is hungry for. You know, we've seen any number of instances where people see the value of data. And, and you can easily propagate that culture by making it easy. And that's, that's in many ways you know, sort of what we're trying to do in the industry. Okay, so Microsoft's been around for a while, and you're now on to some uh, data culture and with, when you work with your, your partners and the companies that work with Microsoft. But what differentiates Microsoft in this space? I mean, what is it that's special about working with you guys? Yeah, I mean, in a very fundamental way, Microsoft has you know strengths in enterprise. We've forever managed data for the companies. We've been a trusted partner. They've entrusted their most valuable data with us, so we have that credibility. And we have the hyperscale cloud that's suitable for the new world. And so we put it together, and our approach has been to take data of various shapes, forms, sizes, speeds, and then allow customers to put it together using the tools that they like, languages, technologies that they like, in a, in a hybrid, trusted environment. I think that's really our approach. And you know, our goal is to make it, make it the, the biggest value, that we call it the data dividend, for the data that you make it available to us. And I think that's very, very powerful for us. And, and that's a unique approach, a hybrid environment, because it used to be you were all in or you were in a different camp, and so you're saying that one part of the Microsoft's plan is a hybrid environment. Absolutely, hybrid is an important part for us. It is, a, it is both an opportunity and obligation for us. Uh, companies have bet on our technologies for the longest time, and we want to take them to the new world, new world of big data, new world of NoSQL databases, new world of you know, um, IoT kind of world, a new world of streaming. We put it all together and, and using machine learning, create extraordinary advantages for them from the data that they know and love and the new data that they can harvest. So, what, do you guys have a Hadoop offering or, or what do you do in, like, for people just building that data platform, uh, your partners? I mean, yeah. do you have some sort of Hadoop solution or? You know, I know you have Azure in the cloud, but what's the whole stack here? Uh, absolutely, we, we obviously have a Hadoop uh, solution, it's called HT Insight, and what we do is to take the HTTP uh, offering from Hortonworks, our partner, we've been working with them, and we take that and then we run a fully managed service in Azure. And then on top of that, we run all the usual services, you know, HBase, Hive, Storm, and, and, and Spark and all these technologies are available. And, and the way to think about it is it's a, it's a full participation in the open source. And we, we take advantage of it, we make contributions back. Our engineers contributed like 100x performance improvements that's part of Stinger initiative. And so we make that back. And so we, we think that it's an opportunity for us to be a full participant in open source and differentiate where we can with our technologies. And so we have a very healthy attitude towards that. And are you also working in, I, I think Microsoft, I know Microsoft Research has been doing machine learning for quite a while. Are you going to bring that out more, more to the front here soon, or? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, part of this conference, we announced the general availability of Azure ML, oh, our, great. our machine learning capabilities in the cloud. Um, what we've done, you know, as you rightly point out, we have long-term strength in both big data and in machine learning, right? MSR has done research. We've used that for Bing. We've used that for Xbox, and we've used big data technologies to run Bing. 
And what we're doing is to take that and then marry that with all the all the Hadoop standards and technologies coming, marry that with SQL and other strengths that we have it traditionally, bring the bring the Hadoop world with the relational database world, tones and NoSQL. And we're creating some unique opportunities, the blended opportunities that go across cloud and, and on-premise. So can you speak a little bit about the Azure ML announcement? Because I, I didn't hear it, but I know we're doing an Azure ML book, and I'm kind of curious, what was the announcement about? So the announcement is the general availability of the Azure ML service okay. in, uh, in Azure. And so it enables you to create, uh, take the standard ML algorithms, and then be able to create on a studio uh, uh, little ML scripts that you can then park a standard finished APIs in the cloud. You can use that to train models, you can use that to score models, and you can, you can essentially take Hadoop, the traffic that's coming through Hadoop, and use that to train the models, and then you can use it at runtime to score, and then therefore, to, to create new value for applications. So you know, a lot of a lot of data companies, and I know Microsoft is a lot more than a data company, but a lot of and, and but data is core to everyone now, but a lot of people talk about a stack. You know, and, and I, I get the idea of a stack. But is there a, a people stack as well that we're we're missing, like you were talking about culture. Do you guys have products for everyone that's touching data or using data or wanting to touch and use data? I mean, yes. Yeah, put very simply, we, we consider this a Microsoft data platform. It provides a collection of all the services necessary to support the data culture in, com in companies. Data culture is at the fullest when people believe that any sort of a top level objective that they have can be informed by data. Somebody somewhere has a signal that informs what you're trying to do. There's customer empathy, customer loyalty, whatever it may be. And we think we have all the services necessary to put that together. And clearly we'll get better over time, but it, uh, this is an exciting time. Oh, absolutely. So, exciting time. Let's, let's fast forward 12 months from now, next year, at this event. You and I sit down, and I say, Runga, What's changed? What have you guys done last year, and where are you now? What will change for you guys? I mean, very prosaically, we'll have a large number of our services that are currently in preview in various stages. will all be generally available. These services will be all available, as finished, and ready to interoperate. So that's at a general level. But what I'm particularly hoping for is to have a large number of customers who have put it together and gotten really great value in their businesses. Not just saving a few dollars here and there, but profoundly changing their industries. That, that's my aspiration, I think we'll be there. Yes, and you guys are very deep into all the enterprises, so that's a good start right there. Um, we look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you time. very much. Thank you, Ranga. It's a pleasure.